welcome to the man cave. We are at Stratford Rally. So we're going to have a little walk about here and see what we can find. Roll the credits. Aha! Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, here we are. We have found a little international harvester, Model M, one and a half horsepower. Petrol power from 1922. Look at that, that lovely. Then we come up, a friend of mine, Mr. Ian Whitehead, he's there talking, we shan't interrupt him, he's here with his Lister D and generator with his unihorse and his boy with a Lister Junior. So we'll have another look. We have an array of engines. The man cave is not showing here this weekend because I've been working nights, so that made it a bit impossible. So we've just come for the day. Mrs. Man Cave is walking somewhere up front, we'll catch her up. Here we have a little Hercules, isn't that lovely? Absolutely lovely little engine, that. I do like open crank, hit and miss. Just listen to that. Isn't it lovely? What have we got here? I see a little Rustin PB3 with a domestic water pump. She's a quiet one. Shame on this side of the security fence, but I'm not an exhibitor here this time, so we are just got to make do with being on the public side of things. Here's what the rally scene is about, a man working on his engine. There, look at that, that lovely. Good morning, sir. That is lovely, little Wisconsin. That beautiful little engine. And what have we got up here now? That's an elaborate pump. Hello, Rachel. There's Mrs. Man Cave. There we are. Now, that's one beastly pump. I quite like the look of that. It is a shame the little setup isn't running. Ah, look what I spotted. An early junior. This is what the Man Cave picked up yesterday. One just like that. In fact, no, I think that's an A, actually, because mine got the taller head on it. And there you go. That's very similar to what we picked up yesterday. Anyhow, there's no more engines here for a minute. They'll be round the corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break. And when I come across another engine, I've just spotted one over here. You can look at. I've just spotted one. Fairbanks Morse. There we go. And I see some lovely little Petter M2 lip tops here. That one's lovely. Look mainly original. That's how I like to see an engine. Lovely that. Shame it weren't running, but maybe that'll be running later. Right. We've got to go catch up. Mrs. Man Cave is back over here. This is the first time she's ever been to a steam rally, or a proper rally. She's never been to a proper rally before. She's holding the can of beverage. And we're going to go for a jam of boat. Right, see you in a bit. Stratford 2022. Do you guys want to look around the tractors? We might have to have a jam about and look at the tractors, haven't we? Right, that'll be in a little while. Bye bye for now. Ah! There we go. An Osborne gas engine. Beautiful. We're just having a little look about. Another little PB3 I see there. And if we scoop around the end and 
have a little scoot on here. There's a Lister Junior. That looks like a little Lister A. Lovely. Oh. Here we have this lovely gentleman has a national 5B. I've never seen one of these before. And he's now going to go for a start. Now, whether that pump will self prime or whether that's got to prime up, I don't know, but he's just done some tinkering and cleaned the plug. So let's see if she fires up that. Sounds like it's going to be nice. There we go. On go the fuel. Tickle that carb. Let that old carb fill. And let's see if she fires up. Only 540 of these were made. Look. Three inch centrifugal pump. Here we go. Lost and all that. She did so nice. It's so nice. There you go, she's away now. She's away now. Oh, look at the water that's shifting. That's what you call an engine. That sounds absolutely fantastic. 1929 looks looks remarkably original. You won't get a Chinese Honda working like that in 100 years time. Anyhow, let's have a look about. Back in a minute. Oops. There's Mrs. Van Gogh. She's never been on video so much before. What have we got? Wolseley. We have a Wolseley. WD1. Denoted by the smooth hopper. The WD2s had the fins in but a narrower crank. And then you had the WD8 which had a heavier crank. That was your difference. And that looked like a little... Was that an H2 water pump? That is an H2 pump. Look, there we go. And there's a big... PZR or PBR, lovely. Anyhow, back in the move. Here we have a noteworthy little collection. We have a small PB6, a PB8 and a PB9. Note the man cave has one of these and he's done one of them. I do not have one of them though. We shall be getting one at some point. Is that a 9 or is that a 10? That could even be the big boy, I don't know. That looked too big to be a 9. No, I think that's, that is, a, I'm sure that one's an 8 and this one is a 9. Unless that's a 10, I don't know. Hard to tell from here. I know one thing, it's heavy. Anyhow, let's keep going up here. Look at this hamwork. Running the centrifugal pump. I need to say nothing, just look at it. Listen at it. There's some lovely stuff here. And we got all this row to look at here. Hundreds more engines to look at. I know you all like a hit and miss. Arm and Co, four horsepower. There she goes. 
Just love every time they fire. Here we have a man, Wood Turner. He's got his lathe going off his WD1. Here we have it. Now here we have something a bit different. Penta oil engine, 1903. You all read that info pack? Here it is, you can always pause it. There we go. Just look at the engineering in that. That is lovely. Sorry for that. There we have another little fowler. That looks like a WD-8, and then the obligatory list of D at the end. Marvellous. Oh. There we go. Is that a Jap Model Nort? Is that a Jap Model Nort? That is it. Oh, yes, I oh, see, yes. You what? I do. Possibly. Who's your dad? Sean. Sean. Oh, I recognise the name. Freddy man. Yeah, I recognise. Oh, don't that sound nice. There we have a list of D. And on there a list of B. If you remember, Man Cave picked one of them up yesterday. So we should have one of them, hopefully, running like that in the next week or so. Marvellous. A WD and a list of D again. Let's see what else we've got. You all remember my friend Jeff. These are his two Rustons. He's now going to fire the puppies up. Now you know he's a camera shy old boy. So I mustn't get him too much on camera. But he don't like being on YouTube. <laughs> I got him last time with a generating set, remember? Anyhow, he's now going to get his handle. And then we're going to start these two puppies up. Here he comes. I'm only going to get his feet, look. I'm only going to get his feet. There you go. I lied. There he is. I shall have to get myself one of these Rustons because I haven't got that little one. You are on, girl. There she goes. She's a wire. There we go, ain't she lovely? Just cut away all day like that, she will. And here comes the PB-8. If you remember Man Cave, got one of them and all. So let's see how well she starts. Go nice and easy. Oh, he got some compression. Either way. 
trees there. There we go. That's the distinctive sound of a PB8. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and on go the belt. There we go, we have little crawlers, aren't they lovely? There's a Marshall crawler. Lovely old tool. Track Marshall 55. And then we've got a David Brown, I think. She's a nice old unit, isn't it? Old David Brown crawler. I think she's David Brown. Yeah, I believe she is. Nicely restored, maybe a tad over restored. Oh my god, look at the size of this one! Now, this is no Mickey Mouse toy, she's a bloody big one. Christ, I'm now holding the camera six foot high, and we're a good foot from the top of the ram. Them exhaust stacks must be ten foot. Is she six cylinder or eight cylinder? No, she's got a six on the she's yeah, she got a straight six in there. Of course, she is huge. She's huge and she must be blooming heavy. Ah, we got a badge this side. I've never even heard of that, mate. Ah, it's American look. General Office South Milwaukee. Wisconsin. There we go. She's a number 826. No, is that an 8 or a 3? I think that's an 8. 8260. There we go. That is one big crawler. Like anything American, they don't do anything by halves. And look at the damage that's done to the grass just turning into where it sits. <laughs> Right, we're off. Bye-bye for now.